Hey Scrappers, welcome to another video. So today we shall be taking apart this transformer box that came off of the other microscope when we picked up uh, that medical equipment from the zoo. Um, what I'll do quickly off screen is I'll just remove all of these bolts so that it's not so involved and you know quite meticulous because there's a little screw in there that holds this knob on so be with me I'll be back in a second so here we go guys so welcome back I'm taking all the screws out that unfortunately is the earthing bolt and a cool little feature of this one is that it's multi-voltage so how am I going to do this so you guys can see when you turn this little screw here we've got from 230 220 and then 40 and 250 and then we'll try and get into it and see what we have here inside sorry let's quickly remove these bolts And there we go. So there's a cool feature about this thing. So essentially by turning that dial, you either increase or you decrease the resistance, which in turn affects the voltage, which in turn affects the current. And this is very cool. And it's also going to be quite a meticulous thing to scrap out so what we'll do we'll try and take off the biggest pieces first like this transformer in a way essentially now that I think about it that's exactly what this is it's a, um, a transformer that you can manually set or manually tap so by tapping that you can increase or decrease the voltage on the secondary side, not the primary side. The primary side is still going to be 240 or 250 or whatever it was. But through here, you can wind it up. I think it was 2 to 7 volts. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, the glare, but 2 to 7 volts. But, you know, multi-voltage on the primary and then the secondary is 2 to 7. So from anywhere from 2 to 7 volts, essentially by turning that dial and tapping the transformer, which is quite cool. But, you know, you wouldn't get anything like that in today's society with all the health and safety because that's a steel um, stem as well. So that's also a big no-no because it's conductive. But, you know, kind of the old school, the old part of history that, you know, to show you where we all came from, how the electrical industry has moved forward from the old style of switches that you had to throw just by turning it from up, sorry, moving it from an upward position to a downward position. And that was essentially the exposed contacts were like a tuning fork, if you will. To modern switches, we just, it's all enclosed, you just essentially a rocker. And this is why they don't use flat headed screws anymore, slot screws because it's just a nightmare. Rather than having Torx bits of safety screws and whatnot, they should revert back to the old slotted screws, the safety screws, because people just lose patience and slipping out of the slot all the time. Right, so this is what we're all here for, guys. Well, that can be taken apart later on. Let's see what or how we can get into this transformer. So what we're essentially going to have to do is I assume cut these cable these wires off here quickly. We are going to have to drill these brackets out so that we can pull the frame off, frame apart because unless let me just try a Neanderthal approach and see if that works. It did, but unfortunately it broke at its weakest point. Never mind. And now we're still going to have the same issue to try and get this out. We're going to have to knock. Um, if I had a machete, again, guys, scrap it all. 
if um, I had a machete, I'd put a machete down the side of here and cut this transformer in half. And I wouldn't need to necessarily worry about removing these brass lugs because the machete would be able to cut through these. But the way I have to do it now is because I don't have a machete, is essentially you have to stand here and try and use a punch and punch these pins all out. And um, that's not going to happen because I don't think I have a punch small enough to get into here. So I'll have to try a drill from this end. So I will do that and I'll be back. Welcome back guys. So as I say, I drilled out all of those um, lugs. And now the real fun starts. Essentially what I have to do is individually I have to pull out each one of these laminations. And once I've got a couple of them out, they should all relatively fall out with these. But in the meantime, I think I'll just fast forward this part. This is going, this is proving to be a little bit more tedious than I thought. All this paper is baked on here. So what I might actually have to do guys is set this on fire. Use my blowtorch and just burn all of this paper off. <laughs> because it will take some of the glue with it as well, but at this rate, it's just gonna be way too difficult when be here for hours. Try and take all this insulation paper off. What I'll do, that's what I'll do guys. I will use my blowtorch and I'll incinerate this. Um, simply by heating it up to a point where I'll just quickly show you all. Essentially, I'll just heat it up like this until it catches fire, it turns to carbon, and then I'll smash it with a hammer a little bit and just go around the whole thing. And then, when it gets to a point where I'm happy with it, I'll just throw it in my crucible and then I'll worry about the rest of it, all the carbon and everything, when I do my melts. So, I hope that was interesting for you guys. Thank you all for joining me. Look after yourselves and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.